If you're starting a printing business, getting a DTF printer is a great choice. And today I'm going to be reviewing, this is the Pro Colored F8 Panda DTF printer. We also have the oven and the heat press machine. I'm gonna go over what this is, how it works, and how you can use this setup to make money, no matter whether you're starting like a main business or more of a side hustle. Pro Colored is currently running a really great sale. More information about that in the description. So first of all, this came packaged in a wooden crate, very sturdy packaging. So that's the box with the printer and accessories. Next box is the oven. We have the Panda logo and everything. But before we go any further, you may wonder, what is a DTF printer? DTF stands for direct to film, which refers to the printing process where designs are printed directly onto a special film, this one right here, then transferred onto fabric using heat and pressure. It is perfect for custom design, small batch orders, and it requires less space and investment while still producing high quality, durable results. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got here. Here are the special ink bottles that a DTF printer uses. Cyan, magenta, yellow and key, black, as well as white. The white ink is crucial because it creates a base layer for the design to stand out on dark fabrics. The other thing about this printer is it comes with the roll of this film. Basically, this is an upgrade from a single sheet setup and allows for longer continuous prints and more efficient graphic layouts. This pet film, I mean, is basically a transparent material where your design is printed. Think of it as the sticker paper for your design. In terms of assembly, we have a bit of mounting. First putting on the piece where the sheet comes out. There's also a cutter there, which you use to cut the film off once it's done printing. Then we have mounting the bracket, which holds the roll of film. Now we've come to perhaps the most exciting part, other than printing of course, the ink. So each ink tank is clearly labeled by color, so you know where to put each ink. So with the printer came little funnels, we're using one of those to pour the ink into the containers with. And you can see the ink is quite liquid. I was surprised how thin it is and it pours in quite easily. So those little things are ink cartridges. So to add ink into the cartridge, we're pulling the air out with a syringe and the pressure forces the ink from the tank to go into the cartridges. So the goal here is to remove all the air inside the cartridge and fill it up with ink. So there are five ink cartridges and five different orange needle hubs for the syringe. So you switch up the tip uh, of the syringe with each color to avoid color mixing. And then the last step is to draw the ink into the waste container, that's the round one. And that draws from the ink heads. And that's where any wasted ink will collect as you're printing. And then you'll empty it once it fills up. Okay, now after setting up the printer, let's use it and make a colorful print and go over how these units work and what's the process. First step is turning on the printer and the oven. And right away, both of them start heating up. This takes a couple of minutes. So you can see the temperature listed on the screen on the front. And the printer is heating up because heat ensures smooth ink flow and prevents ink from clogging. It also ensures consistent droplet formation. And the other thing heat does is to help the ink adhere properly to the transfer film for high quality prints. So I got a laptop right here with the RIP program. Okay, this is RIP software which comes with the printer. It's a program on your computer, only works on Windows, that tells the printer how to print the design, including color settings and layers. So the first thing we're doing is doing a head cleaning, um, which basically cleans the printer head and makes sure that everything is going to print smoothly. And we want to do this each time when we start the unit up. The cleaning cycle is finished. Next thing we're going to bring in our file here and interact with the printer and tell it we want to print it. Then there is a cutter right here. So we have a test. The test we're doing here is basically to ensure that the white color is printing correctly. And if in this test print the white lines are not solid, we'll do another head cleaning and a nozzle clean to get ready for a perfect print. Some 
printing methods are limited by the amount of colors you can use. This printer, however, you can print as colorful as you'd like. And to illustrate that, I downloaded a Pantone color chart so we can really see those colors. And now we're resizing it in the software and setting it up to print. So how long does it take to print a full sheet here? Well, one of the features of this particular printer is its excellent speed. Basically, it can finish a letter size, so A4 print, within seven minutes. And many prints we've done are a lot quicker than that. Okay, I think it's done. So at this point, we do not want to touch the white, the back here now, because it's all sticky and it has ink. So now we're putting this white powder. So in order to use this process, we need adhesive powder. So here we have the transfer powder for DTF printing. Now you don't need a whole lot in order to use this stuff. A little bit goes a long way. Basically you spread some onto the wet ink and it will stick to the ink and make the design ready for transfer. We have our print, we have our adhesive, now it's going to put it in the oven. So this is a DTF curing oven. It has a countdown timer and an integrated exhaust filter and it can fit films up to 13 by 17 inches. Basically it provides even heat distribution. I mean you wouldn't want to use your kitchen oven for this for a variety of reasons. So this whole thing is quite hot now. We're opening it up. Okay, put it right in the middle. Wow, now we're ready, so we hit this button. So now the print is being cooked. The adhesive is attaching to the print before we can put it in the press. It takes a, a couple minutes. So while this is cooking, we're going to heat up the press. So this is the Pro Colored Panda heat press. It measures 12 by 15 inches and it has a clamshell heat press style. The actual heat plate and size is 11.4 times 14.5 inches. It has a knob control switch with a built-in LED display and this is where you control the temperature and the countdown timer. It automatically closes and opens when you push the button. There's an automatic time start and the maximum temperature is 400 degrees. So it's heating up. And the oven comes with this handy little suction cup tool which you use to move the sheet. Okay, next we're going to press the fabric that I have in here. So basically this is going to flatten. It's like an ironing situation for the fabric. Make sure there's no wrinkles. Okay, so this is super nice and smooth and pressed now. And hot. And hot, yeah. So we have our print. We're going to put the colored side up position it on the fabric wherever we want it. And that's one nice thing about using a DTF printer. You don't have to think about mirroring the image because the film is pressed onto the fabric right side up. Uh, compared to screen printing, for example, I mean, the image often must be mirrored during the stencil creation process. Okay, so now we're just gonna push this button and it's gonna do the same thing again, this time pressing the print to the fabric. And we have it set to, what, 60 seconds, so a minute. I'm going to let this cool a little bit and put it on the table. I mean, it's cool now. Slowly. Slowly. Okay, it looks very nice. Okay, so now we're going to put it in the press one more time. Basically, we use the heat press three times. First, to press the fabric to pretty much iron it smooth. Then for the print to attach to the fabric. Then we remove the film and press the fabric with the print one more time to make sure the print has completely adhered. Almost done. So this is the final step now. We are all done. It's been pressed. Looks really good. Okay, so you can see all of these colors. We have <laughs> color wheel there. And this is on a piece of canvas. You can smush it. Now, I must say, I've been playing with this now for a little while and it is so cool. Okay, in the past, I have used that, you know, those kind of heat transfer sheets that you use your regular printer to print out a design and then you use an iron to transfer it onto fabric. Well, this is that setup on steroids. This is the professional version where you can get really good, repetitive, consistent results. So excellent for a business where you do personalized custom things. 
So what are some things that stand out about this setup? First of all, the speed, how it can finish a letter size print within seven minutes. Then we have the print head safeguard system. Basically, it is a photoelectric detection system that effectively reduces the damage risk for the print head caused by film bending. Number three, the brand new roll film version. So we have this printable width of 210 millimeters. So you have a printable length of 31 inches. So you can create quite long graphics or designs. Number four, pro colored siphon circulation. So basically this is about how the inks work. How we have a built in mini siphon circulation to ensure steady ink supply. Number five, print head auto cleaning. Okay, so if you leave the printer on, it will automatically clean the print head every 10 hours. Number six, print on demand easy setup. Basically they have a bunch of video guides and beginner friendly software programs for this RIP software to make it simple and efficient to start a t-shirt printing business. I would say with this setup, the steps from not knowing anything to being up and running and printing your t-shirts for selling whatever is pretty quick. Each machine is really simple to use. At the same time though, this is not a consumer product. You wouldn't just pick this up because you want to print a few t-shirts. You most likely would pick this up because you actually want to start a business, because you actually want to print a bunch of different things, whether that is t-shirts or other, other things. It has these nice professional grade capabilities, like the roll film and their RIP software. The size for this setup is quite compact. Many other printer setups are quite a lot larger. So if you don't have a huge amount of space to devote to this type of business, this may be a really good choice. And since we have auto cleaning, we have a, a bunch of these kind of features, it is relatively low maintenance. So what would you use a printing setup like this for? I mean, obviously apparel is a huge one. Would you want to do t-shirt designs, sweatshirts, baby stuff, tote bags, that kind of thing. One of my favorites is you can make personalized gifts. So you can make custom pillowcases, aprons, fabric swatches like bandanas or flags or, or something like that for, for weddings, for birthdays, for you know special occasions kinds of things. you can also create merchandise like branded gear for businesses and schools and teams and those types of things. So with this kind of setup you are ready to, to design and print for any fabric. This is also really great for small runs. So if you want to do just a few runs of something you don't have to have a huge order. Since you can do each one individually you can make really small batches. It doesn't have to be a, a, a huge order in order to fulfill it. So here we have the flag on canvas and this printed just beautifully. Look at that. So here's a white and here we have it uh, on dark canvas as well. This presidential seal. You can see all those colors also on dark here now. See the green pops, the whites. So 
So if you've been looking for a setup for this type of situation, um, yeah, I'll put all the links to everything in the description below. You can check them out. It is very cool. I might, I mean, I must say. In order to print stuff on fabric, I mean, I've, I've only really just dipped my toes in this now. Um, I'm looking to come up with <laughs> different ideas for things I want to print. Um, I mean, maybe t-shirts, but like other things too. I do like the idea of bandanas, tote bags, like logos, labels, even printing like fabric and then using those for book binding uh, to print covers. I mean, there's so many different things you can do. So thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll see you soon. And don't forget that Pro Colored is running a special sale right now. Check out all the information in the description below.